Hi guys, Flora Briggs here, coming to you with a another video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys my droid army. Now, this will consist of vehicles, etc., along in the video, so we'll get to that towards the end. But first, let's dive straight into this army. So, diving in here, we of course have our three separatist leaders at the front here. We of course have the 2012 Newt Gunnery from the Anakin Strada Interceptor. We have Count Dooku to the left of General Grievous who is a mix and mash of different pieces from different sets. For example, Saruman from the Wizard Duel from the Lord of the Rings theme. And then, of course, in the middle, we have General Grievous. Mm -hmm. Now, moving on to the bigger bulk of the army, we, of course, have multiple of these B1 battle droids, regular ones, in the background. So, starting off with the special ones here, we, of course, have one security battle droid from the 2012 Jedi Interceptor there. Then we have two of these pilot droids who are from this set here, which is from 2011. I'm pretty sure it's called the Droid Troop Transport. Now we have 16 of the regular B1 battle droids who all came from all kinds of sets as well as... They're really common and they're really cheap, but I just don't have very many of them. I'm pretty sure at the start of the year, or not the start of this year, but the start of last year, I only had like five regular B1 battle droids, which is quite surprising seeing as how common they are but I've now got at least 19 of those and they look absolutely amazing in terms of well they're really simple but I feel as if the Lego just captured the right shape of them right first time and it's been the exact same mold since 1999 I'm pretty sure it's about to say 2000 but I'm pretty sure it's 1999 when the first Star Wars wave came out now, moving on to the most exciting part of this video, we are of course going into the vehicles now. This is probably a vehicles that are not necessarily Lego sets. A lot of them are mocks, but regardless, I've included them here. So, diving straight in, we of course have this droid troop transport from 2011, which actually consists of a lot of the bulk of the army, and yeah, it's overall quite a really cool set. Moving on to the back here, we of course have Count Dooku's Solar Sailor from 2009. It does seem a little bit outdated, but is overall still a really, really cool set and actually still stands up to this day. Moving on to the middle here, we of course have my MTT mock, which has been through an awful lot of upgrades in the last couple of months. As you can see, it's an awful lot sleeker and it's a bit bigger towards the back, but I'll probably do another video on that. As well as the fact that I still need to make instructions for this bad boy. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it. Moving on to the Geonosian Cannon here from 2012. This set included two Geonosians as well as a Barris Offy and Commander Green minifigure. Really cool set and actually looks quite cool. So moving on to the bit of the army that you haven't really seen before. This is of course this, the C9979 joint landing craft which is a map mock of my own and it looks absolutely beautiful. It has a wingspan of over 42 studs and actually looks really, really sleek. And yeah, it actually does still need to do a video on it, but yeah. So moving on, we of course have the Geonosian Starfighter here from 2011, I'm pretty sure. And it included Commander Cody, a Geonosian and Kiadi Mundi, so really cool set, it included quite a nice array of minifigures and it actually looks really sleek and holds up to this day. Moving on to the last vehicle here, we of course have the Gen General Grievous wheel bike from 2014, which is another really cool set, it included General Grievous, which I've got here, as well as an Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure and it's something a little bit stranger in the Star Wars universe and it's overall quite a really nice set and it's not something you would see every day. I'm very happy to have that. So let's go on to the final part of this video. So yeah guys, that's going to be it for this video. Of course, if you do like the content you see here, please call and subscribe. And yeah, of course the main thing with this army is just to show off the battle droids, but I had quite a few vehicles so I thought why not just do a droid army. The droid army isn't as big as I'd like, but it's still quite a lot here. It's around about 24, like I said, and yeah, that's going to be it from me. I'm Inferno, and may the force be with you, always.